afternoon everybody i am back today with a tesco haul this is a normal week's worth of shopping in with our christmas shopping so there is a lot more snacky bits and things like that in this than there usually would be and the price is a little bit more the kids are in the background so you will hear them a lot but that's just what happens when you've got a family i usually spend between 120 to 140 pounds a week on our tesco haul and this one came to 177 pounds 80 but there are good some good club card bargains to be had so i thought i'd pop this up up in real time so it's going up today in the next hour hopefully if youtube is friendly with me and uploads it within the next hour and then anybody who's going shopping know what bargains to have for so i am going to start off with the freezer section i got some sliced carrots peeled and cut they are literally for convenience i'd usually buy fresh for christmas day but given the fact that it's still six days until christmas and i am definitely not going shopping in that town centre any time again soon because it is so busy. Um, I thought that I would get frozen and I thought I'd get them already chopped and peeled. So it saves me doing that. At least that way I know then that they won't go off before Christmas Day. I also got three bags of sausages. One is to do sausages wrapped in bacon for Christmas Day dinner. One is for just like having on sandwiches and things like that during the week. And one is for a meal plan. We've got some cauliflower florets and some blo broccoli florets. A packet of Yorkshire puddings. I've got two bags of our usual chicken fillets for the week. Um, again, these were substituted. This was something that is supposed to be new in Tesco and every time I try and order it, it's never there. A 1.5 kilogram kilogram bag of chickens and they keep substituting me with different types of chickens every week but these seem good there's quite a few in there i've got two bags of those and then i've got two bags of frozen mixed vegetables they again are just for meals during the week where the other veg is for christmas and then i got i got quite a few cakes a lot more than what i thought i got i got a banoffee pie for christmas day a strawberry cheesecake for christmas day a lemon swirl cheesecake for Christmas Day and a hot chocolate fudge cake for Christmas Day. So there's a lot of cho um, a lot of cakes there. We probably won't have them all on Christmas Day. And then I got a packet of hash browns. And that is it for the freezer section. And now we are going to move on to the cupboard section. I got five bags of British potatoes. Um, I usually get around four anyway for our usual week to make mash and chips and things like that. Um, but after I'd already put them in my basket and done my week's worth of shopping, I went back on to make sure that everything was right. I realised that they'd put all of their fresh vegetables down to 15 pence. So um, that was a bargain. I just got an extra bag of potatoes and my plan is, these usually do last about a week, but my plan is in about three days time, I'm going to chop and blanch some of them to make the roast potatoes so they don't go off and hope that the other ones last for some mashed potato. So we got five of those. Let me just move them out of the way so there's some room. We got a toddler mill cow and gate. If anybody is new here or near two year old, doesn't like fresh milk, she's not very good with it. So she's still on toddler milk. And then we got, is this six? six of these selection boxes these have been put down to one pound 50 i think on club card offer which is an absolute bargain because they are supposed to be near enough three pounds so we got six of those we got two vegetable oils one for the potatoes on christmas day and the turkey or the chicken or whatever we decide to cook and then just over here we've got pringles these are on club card offer um to 125 and these are really expensive these days this one was substituted it was supposed to be the same as these ones but they didn't have salt and vinegar in that flavor these are not all for us to eat like jordan this week or over christmas four packs of them are to go in the kids snack box that we do them for christmas so it, rather than get them selection boxes and loads of chocolate and stuff we do them a snack box with the favorite drink the favorite chocolate some sweets and some crisps so it'll do them like over the coming weeks after christmas so we got salt and vinegar i think we got three sour cream and onion we got one prawn cocktail 
and one Texas barbecue and one cheese and onion. Is that right? Yeah, that is right. And I think Ebony picked these ones. Zach picked these ones. Renee picked these ones. Matthew also picked these ones, which leaves these three for just snacking on. Three different flavours. I'm sure they'll go down a treat in the house. And then we have some toilet tissue. I may as well vlog this side while I'm over here. I've got a 30 packet of size 6 Tesco nappies again. I could do every week. I'd completely recommend them. I've got um, two apple juices and two orange juices. I did try and get me apple juice in light, but when I needed to amend me Tesco, like no added sugar. Uh, when I needed to amend me Tesco, they didn't have it in stock, so I had to amend it to this one. And I got two of these stand and stuff taco kits for during the week for tea time meals. I got two packets of crackers because who doesn't love a cheese cracker on Christmas with um, some tomato on it or some pickle? I obviously wouldn't be allowed to have the cheese, but even with some butter on, I do really like that. Then we got some ketchup, some barbecued sauce, some light mayonnaise, four bar... Four packets of these seven bars of toffee, toffee crisps. While well, I'm losing my words here, aren't I? Um, these are for the children for during the week. They have one bar a day for the whole entire week. So that is their chocolate. And then I got these chocolates to melt down to go on pancakes for Christmas Eve breakfast. And then two packets of biscuits. I got three packets of Viscounts because these are Joe's favourite chocolate at the moment. And it's Christmas, so mint. I got a Miss Molly's pack of cake bars because Joe and Nevea are partial to a cake every now and again. I got two of these white breads. They're just a medium slice and two of these thick sliced toasty loaves. Then back to the other side, we got a 30 meaty variety bag of crisp and a 30 um, variety bag with like the prawn cocktail. And the reason we get two lots is because some kids don't like these flavor some kids don't like this flavor so it's better to just have the two bags so we can split them and they have a packet each for the week we always end up with loads left over but i have explained in previous ones we donate them to the food bank when we get a lot of them all together we got some soft white rolls for meals some um tortilla wraps for meals a bottle of no secco so it's an alcohol free and I thought everybody has a bottle of something on the dining table don't they when they're eating Christmas dinner and we don't really drink alcohol I don't enjoy it Joe will have a one with his Christmas dinner if he feels like it but it's very rare if he does and um, I thought it'd just be a nice little thing for the kids and us all really to have with maybe some orange juice in it um I don't know what it's going to taste like. Does it taste like alcohol? I don't really want to give them the taste for it, but I thought just so it's a little a champagne glass rather than just having a, a cup of pop or something, they can have um, some of this with some orange juice in. I thought it'd make it feel special. We got some beef gravy granules. We got two of these stage and onion stuffing mixers. One is for Christmas Day and one is to go with the sausages that I showed at the beginning. We de-skin, we defrost them, de-skin them, mix them up with some beef and this and make uh, festive meatballs, basically. And then we got this um, mustard. This is, again is to go in the meatballs. I do usually use mild deli one, which I do like on sandwiches as well, but these substitutes me this and the spice ain't going on my butties. So um, that'll just be okay to put in meals. And then I got this Christmas tray biscuit kit. This is for the kids to make our Santa cookies on Christmas Eve. We usually do usually make them ourselves, but I thought this year I'd get a pre-made kit. Um, I've just been explaining today in today's vlog, which will go up tomorrow. I am getting sick again. So just in case by Christmas Eve, I'm not well enough to um, make a homemade biscuit kit. We've got one. We've, we've got a pre-made one. So they'll still get to make and decorate them for Santa. And then we've got some orange and mango squash. 15 packets of noodles, 
two packets of these scotch pancakes again we can make them ourselves but for convenience and the excitement of christmas eve morning we do do these we just pop them in the toaster for a couple of minutes just so they go warm and then we decorate them with some strawberries and cream and chocolate and everything else and then for christmas day we've got two packets of these four english muffins we don't tend to have breakfast on christmas because by the time all the excitement is over and done with um it's usually lunch time and then we have some snacky foods but this year i'm going to do some muffins i'm going to do some sausage and egg muffins for us to have until we have our christmas dinner so we've got two of those they will have to go in the freezer because they haven't got a very good date one's got the 20th and one's got the 23rd on isn't the 20th tomorrow yes so they need to go straight into the freezer the baby is currently throwing everything from that end that we've already shown onto this end so i'm not um forgetting any and it's just new stuff getting thrown on yeah i got some washing up liquids a tin of dog food as a spare well, the extra one that we need to go with the six to make the seven. I got four bottles of this sugar-free cola for the kids. I got Joe's usual six bottles of Coca-Cola Zero for the week. And now I'm going to move on to the kitchen for our fresh stuff. Now, in the fresh section, we've got two packets of this chicken roll for sandwiches. A Swede, which was 15 pence. I'm not sure if that's actually going to last. It doesn't have a date on it. The Swedes usually last more than a couple of days. Please comment down below and let me know. Otherwise, I will cut up, blanch and freeze it. Um, some eggs, a packet of British eggs. Some strawberries for our Christmas Eve again with tomorrow's date on it so annoying so they're gonna have to be eaten today and then i'm gonna have to make another trip to our town center um i thought i got away with it i thought i'd really got away with it i got lots of fruit fresh fruit over the weekend to do us for the whole entire week which i knew would last but now i'm gonna have to go back I got a 20% fat beef mint. I wouldn't usually go for this one. I usually go for the 5% fat, but they had none. But I do have some in the freezer. So this is just a, a spare and, and in case, basically. I got some tomatoes, two packets of cheese slices for meal plans, some Brussels sprouts. Again, I don't know if these will last until Christmas Day. So let me know if I need to cook and blanch them. I've got some light, can't believe it's not butter. That was actually substituted, I just ordered normal. A packet of bacon to go around the sausages. An iceberg lettuce, which looks a little bit worse for wear. It looks a bit um, thingy. I got two of these cheeses. One's just for like the kids to have on sandwiches. The other is for the cheese and crackers. And then we got a semi-skimmed milk. A real dirty cream and then I got these these was not supposed to actually be on my list Joe said leave getting any meat and I'll go to the shops myself and pick a turkey because you couldn't get a turkey delivered on Tesco it said I had to change my delivery slot but then there were no other delivery slots available so I don't know what I was supposed to do anyway I detested going to the town centre in any of them shops to try and find a turkey or anything like that. And definitely not going in the food shops anyway. Like the likes of Morrison's in Iceland, I, I refuse. Because they are chocker. So chocker that the car parks are full. Completely and utterly full. And there isn't one spare trolley left. I went home bargains today and that was bad enough. So I said, just in case, I will get a buttered breast chicken joint and a gammon. Just in case we can't get a turkey. Because if Joe goes and there's no turkeys, at least we have something, don't we? And that is it. I'm not going to add a meal plan in this week because we're kind of just, you know, doing as we do. You've seen most of the things that I said for this week anyway. Um, and I hope you all have a Merry Christmas. Thank you for watching. And I will see you again tomorrow for another one. It's a little while.